Hi there, this is Stephanie and I'm reporting for day 55 of my 100 day challenge. So today I am sort of like, it's my first full, my first full day uh, working on the farm that I live at. This is my office view for the moment. Not too bad. There's a uh, beautiful mountains off in the distance that you can't really see but um, after my day of working in the garden uh, this is where I'm doing a little bit of computer work for my business and um, so yeah not a bad spot I think it's probably the nicest view that we have in Salmon Arm so I feel pretty lucky um, so this morning I um, asked my body what it wanted and needed and I got two things one was qigong but after I went f after going for a bike ride so I used to be a bike commuter in Vancouver and I biked absolutely everywhere for 10 years and I really enjoy riding a bicycle I feel like it's great fitness and I hadn't been on my bike for months and months and months and months until this morning so I did um, I don't know how many kilometers but Anyway, I went all the way to the Trans-Canada Highway and back, basically. Um, and it really, felt really good to feel my legs and my bum and uh, just, you know, get back on the bike. So I'm pretty excited. I can probably make it to the grocery store in 15 or 20 minutes, which is really good. Um, and then I did a practice of Qigong in the... F Actually, I did what's called primordial uh, Qigong. And um, it came to me to do this practice today. It's a specific practice for gathering energy from nature. And I took the doggies. See, they're such good guard dogs. They are sitting up there making sure that no deer passes through that field without getting barked at. Um, so I took them for a walk. And uh, the thing about primordial Qigong is that you do all the directions, so east, south, west, and north. And I sort of, because I was walking with them, I did the east in one spot, then I did the south in the one spot, and the um, west in the other spot. And so I sort of did all the directions on my walk. And as I did it, I was also, um, I guess you could say communicating with the spirits of nature all around this place and really honoring them. So that was part of my intention for Qigong and it felt really good. Um, that Qigong practice is very healing and I could really feel the energy of it and uh, I love it. So um, I also had a good conversation this morning with um, a man that I had recently been involved with who wasn't really able to connect emotionally and I just told him that uh, I kind of I need that I know myself and I need it so and he's not really in a space to go there but um, I have heard my help you know I'm able to help people with that side type of thing and uh, my friendship and um, thanked him for the experiences that we had together and yeah I feel a lot clearer about just um, finding a partnership that serves my whole being so yeah that felt like a load off my chest and I don't know if that was stressing me out but I got a little bit of a cold sore I don't get cold sores like often maybe like once every four years or, so, or once every five years or so it's like very very infrequent um, so maybe the moving and and all of the healing that happened on the weekend because um, I did do a lot of healing had a huge energy healing session and I'm noticing different physical things maybe it's all coming up and coming out so yeah that's me for today thank you so much for listening and we'll talk again tomorrow bye